back again with part two. What I'm trying to explain to people who live outside of Texas, we have a huge number of illegals coming here. Uh, they, they're they sucking us dry. Uh, the Spanish people who live down the border are worried for their lives because these people are, are committing some crimes. They don't make the news. The reason they don't make the news because they don't want to make them feel bad or don't want to put them in the wrong light. These are people who are just here to make a living. Well, when you put eight million in here that don't have skills to do the jobs that are available, this is taking jobs from people who would go work. Uh, when I go to my doctor, I've been going to the same doctor's office for 40 years now. When I started out, they were, uh, the girls were all white and black, and now they're all Spanish. All the old crew are gone. You can't go into a doctor's office now and find a white person working as a receptionist or bring them in. None of them, they're all from other countries or or a generation of from people from other countries. Now, you're gonna say, well, you're a racist. No, I'm not. I have a son-in-law who's Filipino, a very nice young man. Uh, I have a other son-in-law who is of Spanish descent. He's very nice. The Filipino, he was in the Navy for almost 20 years reserve, uh, served overseas a couple times. Um, he works at a hospital. Uh, been there for, golly, probably 25 years as a respiratory therapist. My other son-in-law is a commander in the Navy Reserves. He has served all over the world. Um, uh, he is also a head of uh, emergency management in a town that uh, uh, He's very well respected and works there and does a great job. I mean, he's smart as whip. He's got a brother that teaches uh, computer science, and it's in a, a, a such a particular sci class that very few people can take the class. I mean, you've got to be at the top of the tier of people doing this stuff to um, even go to the classes. And he's doing really good in there, and he does this all the time. And I'm very, very proud of all of them. And I'm not a racist. I don't care. I just would like legal immigration into this country. You come in here illegally, I'm happy as a lark for you. But these people are coming in and demanding, and pardon me, and they're working off the welfare department. They're trying to get something for nothing. Uh, these young men are not... skilled labor and they're not going to be so and we got a huge bunch of them coming up now i think they said be 12 10 15 thousand well when they all hit the border at one time and there's a guy that is organizing these bringing them up and to the border and then turn around go get get gets another big group gets it all coming up this way and causes all kind of trouble i have a problem Mexico is making money off of these people. As they're coming at 3,000 miles, they've got to eat, they got to buy food, so the Mexican uh, economy benefits from these illegals coming up, buying food. Where, do you t where does 15,000 people go to the bathroom? It's got to be one long turd from down there up here. You, they don't have convenience stores. You couldn't run that many people into a convenience store. You know, can you imagine a poop that's off the side of the road, the um, uh, amount of uh, feces and urine that they, is on the side of the road? I was looking at one picture, and it's a highway. What they had to do was two lanes come in this direction are all for the immigrants. On the other side, they had to take that South Mount, I guess, lane, and split it so cars can go both ride by 
to get by all the people blocking their streets up there. So that is, is unbelievable what is going on. And it's not going to change. It's going to continue because this administration wants all these people in this country because they feel like it will assure them for a total election, re-election, wherever they are, because they, the immigrants will say, this is what Biden did for us, so we're going to constantly vote for him. So you got to be careful what's going on. Okay, um, I'm going to stop right now, and we'll start the last part of this video, and I'll leave you alone for the day. So I'll be right back. Hang on.